Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the class. Today is Monday. Welcome back from the weekend. How are you? Thumbs up? Everything okay? <laughs> Connected? Yes. Okay, with all the attitude, with all the positive attitude, yes, ready to learn, good, ready, nice, how was your weekend, did you have a good weekend, I have a good weekend, uh -huh. I visited to my aunt, I visited my aunt, uh -huh. where, uh, San Marco City. <laughs> really? It's nice. You have a great view of the road to the airport. Mm -hmm. And it has a lot of hills. What does that mean, hills? Cerros? Oh. Like yes. Beverly Hills. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes, but San Marcos Hills. Like San Jacinto Hill. San Marcos Hill. <laughs> yes. Or San Jacinto Hill. Or San Jacinto. Mm -hmm. Los Planes Hill. Los Planes Hill as well. Mm -hmm. So, Daniel, Alejandro, how was your weekend? What did you do? Where did you go? Hi, good night. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I am good. Good. Nice. Very good. Nice. Did you rest? Did you relax? Did you enjoy your weekend? A trip. You went on a trip? Se Where? Relax. Where did you go? Uh, I go um, traer in the moto. <laughs> <laughs> you rode a motorcycle. Sí. Oh, wow. Tenía una moto arruinada y hoy la fui a traer. Oh, you went to pick up your motorcycle. Yes. But you have to be very careful because now the police is watching you. Oh, wow. <laughs> exactly. You have to ride your motorcycle correctly. <laughs> yes. Nicely. Okay. All right. Good. Karen. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. What did you do on the weekend? Um, I went out with my boyfriend to a lake. <gasps> a romantic date. <laughs> what lake? Suchitoto. Oh, nice. And where do you live? Um, <laughs> you live in San Salvador? Yes. And you went to Suchitoto. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Suchitoto is beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, and the Lake Suchitlan is wonderful as well. Yeah, it's amazing, breathtaking. Yeah, I, I was in Suchitoto, oof, probably. They Ten years ago, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's really, really nice. It's very picturesque. It's antique. It's colonial. Yeah, you get really beautiful photos in Suchitoto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, some people are asking for permission not to be in class today because they have some issues, some problems. Well, we're going to hope for them to join a little late probably we have kevin asked for permission uh tatiana yes and juliana 
Hey lady, how was your weekend? What did you do? Hello. Hello. Okay, since the weekend. On Saturday, on Sunday, did you go out? Did you relax? Did you go to the beach? Did you rest? Relax. <laughs> relax at home. Sleeping. <laughs> watching TV. <laughs> watching movies. Okay, watching videos. All right. Listening to music. Great. Well, the idea is that you enjoy the weekend as you wish. If you like to go out, you go out. If you like to relax, you relax. If you want to stay at home, you stay at home. Well, I decided to stay at home on Saturday because I was a little bit tired. So I was at home. I was cleaning, cooking, doing the laundry because there's always a lot of things to do at the house. Yeah. You look like Cenicienta, Cinderella, <laughs> cleaning and cooking. And then on Sunday, I went to visit my parents. They live in Ilo Vasco, so it was, it was really cool. It was a nice drive too. All right, we're gonna start by having the attendance. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. I think many people will be, yes, just absent today. Let me see. Hmm. Give me one second. I need to change the account of the email right here. Let me get my name first. Oh, here I am. <clears throat> Today is Monday, Monday, January the 30th. Imagine the 30th, the 30th of January. Yes, Anna Ruth. Present. Hello, good evening. Brenda, Claudia, Mayet, Daniel Adonai, Daniel Alejandro. Oh my goodness, ninguno de los Daniels. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh huh. Daniela Lisset. Present. Hello. Daisy Tatiana. Send permission, right? Dolores de los Angeles. Present. Hello. Good evening. Juliana, send the permission as well. Elim. For Elim, no yet. Jonas Asuncion. Not yet, Jorge Antonio, not here, oh my God, Jose David, Julio Aristides. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, fine, I am eating um, delicious. Tamalitos. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. <laughs> you just arrived from work. Uh, sorry, I don't you, listen. You just arrived from work. Ah, sí. Okay. Yes. Okay, you just arrived home. Nice. Karen, enjoy. Karen, Karen, Emperatriz. Present. Hello. Kevin Alexander, Nahir, Lady, Maricela Linares. Estaba Lady, acabamos de estar hablando. ¿Qué se nos dice? Ah. <ríe> okay, Ruth, 
Evelyn. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Wendy. Not here. And Genesis tampoco. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. We have a small class today. Yes, a lot of people have problems, issues, and situations they cannot control. So we are just 10. 10 people is a good number for a class, if you ask me. That's great. And today we have the session number four. This is our video conference number four. So this is going to be our class number four. All right. Monday, January the 30th. This is 2023. The reminders. This is also good to be reminded. Ya vi que trabajaron algunos en la platform. Congratulations. Eso está muy bien. That's very good. Very, very good. Significa que no vamos a estar posponiendo nada. <laughs> so we're going to be working on time, okay? Working on time. The attendance, very important. The time on the sessions, very important as well. The participation, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. I needed to sneeze. Okay, so as I was saying, yes, it's very important to ask questions, to participate. Okay, this is just a reminder. And as well as the participation in the breakout rooms and the chat. It's really, really great. Of course, I hope that after three classes, because this is our class number four, so we all have the manual printed or at least the PDF that you can use in class. And that can use as uh, extra practice as well that you can, I mean, study and review from time to time. So at the end of this class or at the end of this session, participants will be able to describe activities and events in the workplace and other environments. We were already talking about this. And of course, they say use negative sentences in present tense. But remember that we were also studying the use of how much and how many. So that is basically what we're going to be doing, okay? This is practically some of the questions that we're going to discuss. How many days a week do you work? How much time do you have to complete your task at work? Your task is like different activities, right? For example, if you have to prepare a report, how much time do you have? One day, five hours, three hours, two hours. So how much time, okay? And depending of the activity as well, right? Because for some tasks, we have more time. For some tasks, we have less time. And how many days a week do you work? For example, you say, oh, I work five days a week from Monday to Friday, or I work, I work six days a week from Monday to Saturday or I work seven days a week or 24 sevens because they're always calling me so I'm connected all the time, right? So these are practically how you can answer these two questions. ¿Sí se entienden las questions? ¿Qué es lo que les pregunta? Yes. Yes? Good. Yes, teacher. Vaya. Traten de formular su respuesta. Try to write your ideas about the answers okay and then we're going to interact and everybody's going to participate giving the answers so how many days a week do you work and then you answer well i work six days a week from monday to saturdays or i work seven days a week all all the time or 24 7 or i work five days a week or i work three days a week, I don't know, maybe, or I work just on the weekend, so I work, or I have a part-time job, I just work in the morning, it depends, right, because we all have, like, different schedules and different type of work. Are you ready to answer? Not yet. Not yet. 
Okay. Prepare. Prepare your answers. Try to expand as much as possible. Try to give details. Try to explain why you work these days, why you don't work other days. For example, if you ask me this question, how many days a week do you work, teacher? I will probably answer, well, at my formal job, uh, on the foundation, I work officially five days a week from monday to friday from 7 a.m to 5 p.m so it's a long extended hours and in some occasions when we have extra activities or events we go on saturday or sunday it's very very rarely it's very occasionally but sometimes we do. And here at Insafor, at Inglés Corporativo, I work five days a week too, for two hours, from 8 to 10 p.m. And that's it. In the past, I used to work on the weekends. I used to work all Saturday from 7 a.m. in the morning until 5 p.m. But that was long time ago. I don't work in that job anymore. I say, is it enough? <laughs> and well, I used to work on Sundays, only in the morning too. And how much time do I have for completing my task at work? It depends. Sometimes I have to teach a one hour class. Sometimes I have to teach two hours class. Sometimes I have to teach like four hours class, like in a, the whole morning. And to complete the other tasks, it depends too. Sometimes like two or three hours to complete a planning or grading. For example, on Mondays, I usually complete a lot of reports, but I don't teach on Monday afternoons. I only do administrative work. So that's basically my job. So you see, I, I give a lot of details. I explain a lot. So you try to explain a lot. Yes? Are you ready? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I'm preparing my answer very well. <laughs> I need a complete answer. <laughs> okay. If you listen to somebody snoring and sleeping, it's my dog. <laughs> She's always sleeping by my side when I'm teaching. Maybe I can show it to you. Oh no, you're not gonna see her because of the background. Hey, Dolores, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Glad to hear that. Tell me. Okay. I work five days in the week. Mm -hmm. uh, from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, I have different time to complete my task mm -hmm. because I have many tasks to do. Mm -hmm. Usually on Monday, I have to do a project planner. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. about the next week uh, and share with my team. Mm -hmm. Share with my team. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, from Tuesday to Friday, I have to review the work paper of my teams about the different clients that uh, then uh, work. Mm -hmm. It's correct, yes. Yes. Okay. We have many regula regulatory mm -hmm. clients, mm -hmm. and we have to end in the work at, um, and between us, between Me January to February. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. So you work under a lot of pressure with time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And only that. Nice. Good job. Excellent. So you are going to nominate somebody else. I nominate mm -hmm. uh, somebody else. Okay. Yes. Um, Julio. Yes. <laughs> and he's gonna say thank you. <laughs> yeah, Julio. Julio finish. I believe Hi, that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Did you prepare your answer? Sorry? Did you prepare your answer for this question? Um, it's okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, I work uh, from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. um, from the 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 12 a.m. Okay. Uh, uh -huh, later, mm -hmm. I return to my work at uh, 1 p.m. o'clock mm -hmm. in a stay work at uh, um hasta until, until the four, until mm -hmm. uh, 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, later return to my house uh, with my family mm -hmm. uh, the activities I release six. I do. Uh, the sorry? Activities, the activities I do? Uh, that, and the activities I do is uh, to release uh, uh, buying a uh, process, mm -hmm. my process. Mm -hmm. Purchasing um, process. See, yes. Um, this activity is, um, is uh, a vari uh, variable time mm -hmm. because uh, depends of the complex of the procedure. Mm -hmm. um, and I usually I need to uh, realize, re need to do uh, cotizaciones, solicitar cotizaciones. As for prices. As for prices. Mm -hmm. um, later, um, uh, I need to do a cuadro comparativo. Mm -hmm. And later, um, compare do prices. A, uh -huh. uh, compare prices, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's usually that's um, my activities. Okay, my nice. Activities. Uh -huh. Good. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank I you. see Miss Ruth Evelyn has her hand raised. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I work on Monday or Friday. Sometimes I go to my work at Saturdays. Uh, only the, in the morning mm -hmm. at 12 o'clock mm -hmm. and uh, I I have to complete my task and 
Oh my God. <laughs> I need four hours to prepare one yes. uh, uh, report. One report, all right. One report. Mm -hmm. Because I prepare uh, a report for clients, mm -hmm. for cada uno. For each one. For each one. Mm -hmm. And I have many uh, uh, oh my god <laughs> se nos alborotaron los animalitos <laughs> I'm sorry it's my neighbor's dog oh my god yes okay. give me a second I... I yes. um I need uh, I prepare uh, as for prices and budgets uh, to Monday on Friday every day every week every month this is my job because I am not just a uh, a doctor's uh, insurance. And all clients send me budgets and I analyze one on one. Thank you. All right, thank you so very much. I'm sorry about this mess, but you know, sometimes I can't help it, <laughs> okay? All right, who's next? Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Yes, Daniel Alicet. Um, I work from Monday to Friday and sometimes on Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The time practically from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's correct. Okay, but how much time do you need for each of the activities to complete each task? ¿Cuáles actividades? Ajá, como cuánto tiempo se lleva para cada una de las actividades? How much time? Mm. Depends. Ajá. Uh -huh. Depends. It depends. Sometimes one hour, sometimes two hours. Or three hours. Es, es que, ¿cómo le explico? Explain. For time. <laughs> uh -huh. It's for time. And usually um, three hours. Three hours. It usually takes you three hours to complete a task, an activity. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. very good, perfect. Someone else? I see more people want to participate, that's great. Awesome. 
Mm -hmm. Raise your hand, put your hands up. <laughs> Yay, it's Karen. Um, how many days a week do you work? Mm -hmm. Every day I work in the cashier area. Mm -hmm. I work five days a week, rest uh -huh. on Sunday. Uh -huh. uh, question number two. Uh, how much time do you have to complete your that work? Uh, during the during the day, I'm gonna say organize my team and enter at 7 p.m. and leave at 4 p.m. All right. Do you work on Sundays? Yes. Okay, five days. And when you don't work? Prácticamente trabajo sábado hasta el mediodía. Okay, Saturday until noon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, nice. Someone else? Somebody who hasn't participated yet? Oh, se nomine. <laughs> nominate. <laughs> you can say a name. Mm -hmm. Si no hay volunteers, we can say names. No more? Are you sure? Daniel Alejandro wants to participate, I see. <laughs> so, digan mi nombre, digan mi nombre. <laughs> paper, scissors. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Que no me mire, que no me mire. <laughs> All right, tell us about your work. Hi, uh, how many days week to the work? Uh, normality, uh, so six days and a week. Mm -hmm. Uh, aunque por el momento, uh, at the moment, mm -hmm. I am not work. I'm not working. Uh -huh. I am usually in capacity. You, I am in capacity. Leave. You get a medical leave or a doctor leave, yes. or a sick leave. Uh -huh. How uh, many days are pero, you going to be? Uh, how much time do you have to complete your tax at work? Uh, I am dry instructor. Uh, entonces, yo doy clases durante todo el día. Cada clase, mm -hmm. ajá, the class lasts uh, 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Uh, And how, am, many, how many classes do you, do you give a day? Uh, ten. Ten classes? Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, five, five, five in the morning, five in the afternoon. 5 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I start in the 7 o'clock. Mm, oh my uh, God. Finish at uh, 6 o'clock. That's late. Yes. Very late. Uh, uh -huh, uh, y, well, <clears throat> eso. In how many days va a estar en, en, en su medical leave? En, uh, en three, three monthly. Three months? Yes. Why? What happened? Did you have an accident? Uh, retour um, in March. Es, uh, uh, 13 de March. March 13. Yes. In, and what happened? Did you have a surgery or an accident? Uh, my, my, ¿cómo se dice? Hueso my bone. quebrado. <laughs> you had an my accident. Leg. My leg, yes. In the really? motor. On the motorcycle. Did you fail? Yes. Levanta el pie, Daniel. <laughs> no, no puede. What? No, ya estoy mejor. Pero no todavía no tengo. Eh, no. Yo, este es mi, mi second accident. 
¿Y qué pasó? ¿Lo empujaron? Entonces, ¿Se cayó o qué? Me empujaron. Claro. Eh, un, the, the car, eh, the shot, the back. Por detrás. Ay. Por las nuevas medidas, va, me golpeó por detrás, me detuve y por detrás me golpeó. No way. Oh, yes. no, I'm sorry yeah, pero... to hear that. I'm but so I feel sorry. good. Okay, that's good. Be mostly vacation. <laughs> Enjoy learning English only. <laughs> yes. So you have no excuses for no studying and practicing. Y pagadas. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Are you a good instructor, Daniel? <laughs> Yes. Of course. I am patient. I'm I am patient, patient. Patient. How many years have you taught to drive? Uh, I drive the 12, 12 years. 12 years. But, but I teach three years. Three years only. Okay. Yes. Nice. Good job. <laughs> That's an interesting story, okay? That's very interesting. All right. Next, we have this welcoming letter for Dominique's new job. So we have to read her letter and we have to answer the questions below. Por razones de que acá no se logra ver toda la letter, Déjeme. lo vamos a poner desde el manual. So give me one second. I need to project the manual. One, two, one, two, here. Oh my goodness. Vale, acá está. Read the welcoming letter to Dominique's new job. Esta es la carta de bienvenida que le dan a Dominic en su nuevo trabajo. ¿Ok? So, that's why it says, read the, I mean, read the welcoming letter to Dominic's new job and answer the questions below. Después que ya hemos leído, obviamente vamos a tener que responder estas questions. ¿All right? All right. Travelers Inc. What a better future. Dear employee, welcome to Travelers Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Traveler's family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our product. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients, vacations, two weeks per year, public holidays, salary, 440, 440 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travelers, CEO, I guess. All right, you should be a CEO, <laughs> I'm the general manager. All right, once again, Travelers Inc. for a better future. Mm -hmm. Dear employee, welcome to Travelers Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travelers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Job title, junior sales manager. Key job duties. So these are like the main tasks, right? So these are the main responsibilities that Dominic is gonna have. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our product. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations, two weeks per year. Public holidays. Salary, 440 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Traveler, CEO. Okay, after you read, this is what we're going to do. Vamos a tomar turnos en nuestro grupo en we're gonna read lo van a leer if somebody de su grupo necesita ayuda con alguna pronunciation pues ahí están los demás para que le colaboren 
y answer. You have read. Después de que hayan leído toda la carta, todos los que están en el grupo van a tratar de responder si esto es true or false. Dominic speaks to client in her new job. Her salary is $100 per week. Dominic gets a yearly vacation. She has to work on holidays. Ustedes van a decir si eso es true or false de acuerdo a la carta de bienvenida. ¿Ok? Are you ready to read? Yes? We are ready. Ok, here we go. We are making just about a few groups, I guess. Yes, there we go. Okay. Okay. Eh, logras ver la, la, la página, ¿verdad? Ahí, del manual. Yes. Okay. Eh, Solo tower... toca responder true o false. True o false, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, okay. Only repeat o... Okay. ¿Qué teníamos, ¿Qué teníamos que leer? Dijo que íbamos a leer el... A leer eh, todo ajá, un, el, cu ajá, el cuadro sí, y después, y después responder las preguntas falso o verdadero acorde a lo que leamos. Yes. Ok. You, you fear. Ok. Tú primero. Yo, allá. Sí. <ríe> yes, ok. Yo. Yo. <ríe> Travers Inc. dice. For a better future, dear employer. Uh, welcome to Traver, Travers Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read, read it carefully. Okay, it's a name. Glenda Dominique Sánchez. Hope Little, Junior C. 7857. 140 dollars per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travis CEO. Next. No excuse. <laughs> 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 
Congratulations, you are now part of the Darius family. He sort information to meet you, George. Please. Read it. Read. Read it. Read card carefully. Carefully. Yo 440, yo dije 440, 100, yes, ah. 440, 40, sí, ajá, por eso me, me, me cuando llegué a ese punto me confundí, porque siempre, <risa> pero por favor, por favor, 440, 40 dólares por month, por month, plus bonus, sí. Per month plus bonus. Good luck, Matrava. CSO. Ok. Ahora vamos con las eh, cuestiones. Ok. Ok, sería Dice la. Dice la número uno, number... ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, Número uno. Dominique. Dice... Speak to client in her new job. Yo le puse que true. Yes, yes. Yes, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, porque eh, car protection client y... Answer sí, clients. Que... Sí. Ajá. Answer. Ajá. 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 De los Ajá. dos, va. Ajá. Answer client equation y call potential client. Ajá. Yes, y te ordering on the telephone. Ajá. It's true. Eh, number okay. one. Eh, number two. one eh, number two, his salary is eh, 100 per week. True. Eh, si, son, si es el mes, son los 400, pero no cuadra los 40. Ajá. Eh, sería... Ni el bonus, va. Entonces eh, no, no es correcto. Sería her salary is 120 dólares por week. Mm -hmm. ah, vale. Es. Eh, 110. Number one is true. Clients. Vacations two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary 440 per month plus bonus. Good look, Mark Travers, CFO. Okay. Okay. Ahora serían las preguntas, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Yo la hice. Está bien. Okay. La, la, la primera es false. Ah, no. Uh, true. Es true. Es true. true. Ajá. 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 La segunda es false. 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 Ajá. false. Ajá. Sí, Dominic gets a yearly vacation. Es true. No. Ah, sí, porque dice dos semanas Bien. por año. Ajá, Ajá sí, pero sí. también le dan los, los holidays, los holidays públicos. Le dan vacaciones. Y la Ajá, cuatro. Pero, pero en la cuatro preguntas sobre los holidays. Es falso, porque ella no trabaja en vacaciones. Ajá. Es falso. El tres, es que, es la tres dice, Dominic gets es como que la 3 es como Dominic sí. toma vacaciones anuales. Sí. ¿Verdad? Es true. Ah, false. true. O sea, ajá, cada, sí. o sea, ella le dan vacaciones. Anuales más los holidays. Uh -huh. Y se tiene que trabajar en los días festivos. Es false. false. Ah, pues son tres son... Es true for, true for. Uh -huh. Intercalado. Uh -huh. 
Oke okay, sih. Apa sih? Tahu bien. Soalnya que soalnya que eh, repasarlo si gusta cada cada una o seguimos. My brothers, he eat all. Okay, lady. <laughs> For a better service, their employees work or to server, server, convert to You are no back or the terrorist family. Keep some information. I want you need job. Please treat it carefully. Carefully. Nay, Grena Domini, thank you. Do Peter or Tar? Do Tar? Do Tar? Junior Tar is money. It is your, it is your Tar? Do this. Do Heart and medium. With you manage every week, hit it contact with get it, no, get it, no, get it, get it, get it, get it, contact with corporate hardware, girl, answer, 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 girl, questioning, however, you product start. Order on the beer. Take. Say order on the telephone. Card quantity claim. Vacation to win for to win per year. Plus public holidays. Plus public holidays. Sorry. For hungry. 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 Forty. Hundred. What? Four hundred. Four hundred. Forty. Pay more than plus bonus. Ahí, ahí oh. sería. Perdón, la hice. No. Ahí sería four hundred forty thousand. Porque es cuatrocientos cuarenta mil. No, son 440. No, 440. Si gana 440.000 ah, es el dueño de la empresa. Pero a llevar la coma y los dos. Sí, vale, pero la coma tres. funciona como un punto. Ah. Por el... Le falta por. un cero. ¿va? Lo que sucede es que al momento en que lo... In... Se hizo la digitada aquí, le pusieron coma, pero es un punto. Mm -hmm. Ah, bueno. <risa> estaba bueno como lo estaba diciendo. <risa> ok, vamos a, a contestar las, las preguntas. Pregunta. Uno, dos, tres y cuatro. Okay. La primera, Dominic, speak to clients in her new job. Answer, yes or not. Speak to me. Her. Dominique habla sobre el cliente. Sí. Yes. Dominique habla con el yes. cliente. Yes. Correct. Her salary is 100 per week. No. Uh, correct. No. ¿Cómo? Dominique, ¿es Five. correcto? No. Sí, es correcto. ¿Por qué? Cien mil, dice. Y yo solo un cuatro cincuenta me va a ir. One hundred, one hundred. No lo ganas. Claro que no. Because their sal the salary is for forty. Uh -huh. Sería todo por... Ah, sí, por el mes, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And a week eh, debería de ser uh, eh, one hundred ten. Por las cuatro semanas son cuatro cuarenta. Ajá. Entonces, the answer is not. Is not. 
not. It's false. Okay, false. Dominique gets a yearly vacation. Yearly, yes. no, yes. 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 She has to work on holidays. No. Um, false. 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 Okay, Leo, Leo, you. I read. Yes. Travel scheme for a better future. Dear employee, welcome to Travel Scheme. Congratulations, you are now part, now part of the travel family. Here's some one information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title: Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with your with customer. Answer client question about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacation two week per year plus public holidays. Salary four hundred forty per month plus bonus. Good luck, my travel CFO. Next. <laughs> Yes. Welcome, teacher. <laughs> teacher finish. Yes. Nice. How was it? How was it in the practice? Cool. Good. My partners read very good. Nice. Very good. So, we're done. Okay, nice. Because they gave her a welcome letter, which is great. Is welcome to Traveler's Inn. Congratulations, you are now part of the Traveler's family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez, job title, junior sales manager, and the key jobs duty. So the key jobs duties are, have a meeting with your manager every week, get in contact with customers, Answer clients' questions about our products, take orders on the telephone, call potential clients, vacations, two weeks per year, plus public holidays, which is great as well. And the salary, 440 per month, plus bonuses. And good luck. So Dominique speaks to clients in her new job. True. True. Yes. It's true. 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 It's true. False? Or true? True. 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 ¿Cómo puedes saber? How can you know? Eh, why is the call potential clients? Mm -hmm. Call potential clients. Answer clients' questions, right? In Get say, in contact in say, with customers. In, and say order on the telephone. Take orders on the telephone. Definitely, she has to be answering and calling and talking to the clients all the time, right? right. Her salary is one hundred dollars per week. False. 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 Why? False. Uh, salary. Dude, salary 100. is one hundred twenty. One hundred twenty per week. Yeah. No, no, because oh, 110 for week. 110. Yes, because it's four ah, yes. weeks Sorry. and it's $40, right? Yes. <laughs> so Sorry. this is false. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's $110 per week. 
Si ustedes tuvieran ese salary, ¿qué preferirían? ¿Que se lo dieran los $440 de un solo o que le den $110 per week? Per week. Per week, of course, right? Para irse lo gastando. De una... <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Porque si no, lo mismo pasa Cuando llegan los 440 Ya me lo he gastado previamente Entonces, even worse It's sad so, Dominic gets a yearly vacation True True true, true. true. Two weeks per year, right? So this would be true And she has to work on holidays False. 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 False because she rests on holidays. It says vacations two weeks per year plus public holidays, right? So Dominic has a good job, let's say. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. I need someone. <laughs> I need someone like this. I need a job like this one. Okay, good. Now, there is a conversation about how many how and how much. Do you remember we practice about how much for money? Yes. Mm -hmm. How much do you make? How much do you earn? How much do you pay? Right? So now there is this conversation. It's between Ben and Jeff. It says, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you. How many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weeks days. Four weekdays, cuatro días de la semana, right? So I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Well, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, interesting. They are talking about working extra time. So, Jeff, how are you doing? How are you doing es otra question para how are you. Okay, es otra forma de preguntar lo mismo. Jeff, it's normal, like another way, just cuando usted ya se aburre de decir how are you. Or probably if it is a little bit less formal. Yes, how are you? How are you doing? Yes? Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? There is not much time, right? Hmm. Yeah, they're talking about work, so there's not much time to rest, to enjoy with their family, to relax. Absolutely. All right. Identifiquen las palabras que consideran ustedes que serían difícil de pronunciar, like difficult words. Absolutely. Esa sería una. <laughs> Absolutely. Any other ex like any other difficult challenging word to pronounce? Absolutely. Horas. Hours. 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 Mm -hmm. Extra hour. Each extra hour. Any other? No more? Yes? yes. An hour. Around. 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 
around around yes each extra okay. hour is around ten dollars mm -hmm. what else ¿Qué más? what else what else no more no more great ¿Qué dijimos que significaba how are you doing ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Cómo? ¿O qué haces? Eso sería si yo le digo, what are you doing? Pero, es how are you doing? ¿Cómo estás? Exactly. It's like, it's like how, are how are you? It's similar to how are you. Yes. Okay, ahí tenemos que tener cuidado con what or how, right? Si es, what are you doing? Ahí sí, definitivamente, ¿qué estás haciendo? Pero es, how are you doing? It's like, what's up? How are you doing? Yes, like, how are you? Yeah? Yes. All right. Veamos, vamos a escuchar a dos personitas antes de que practiquemos en grupos pequeños. We're going to listen, yes, to Brenda. And... Hey, Kevin. Hi. Oh, no, había levantado la mano, Kevin. No, it no was problem, Julio, teacher. actually. No problem, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry, Julio. Después le damos el turno a usted. Okay? Okay. All right. So, Brenda goes first, and then Kevin. Okay, teacher. Oh, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work four weekdays, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hour? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see well. Sometimes tar is not much time right. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Okay, now is Miss Evelyn and Julio. <laughs> the same. Um. Hey, yo soy Ben um, o... You choose? No, no, no. La dama primero. <laughs> okay. Ladies first. How gentlemen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go. Okay. Jeff, how are, you, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weeks, days, and sometimes on Saturday. This is really. <laughs> really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Wow. Well, Sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, thank you. But My boss says, don't pay me. <laughs> don't pay extra much hour. for the extra hour. I do. Mm, <laughs> the same payroll. They puede pasar toda la medianoche in the same money. Work, there is much work, but payment, the same. All right. Vamos a practicar tal cual está la conversation en los small groups, pero una o dos veces. La siguiente vez tienen que cambiar los names y tienen que cambiar por algo más real. Ya sea su caso o ya sea algo parecido a la realidad. For example, hey, uh, let's see. Hey Daniel, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Y él no me va a decir, hey Ben, sino que hey Blanca, es yes, como algo ya más personalizado. Y después yo obviamente le voy a decir, 
si trabajo five days a week, or four days a week, or six days a week, or seven days a week. Ya tienen que hacer con la información real. Yes? Okay. Yes. Ready? Ready. Bye. Let's get new groups. Vamos a rotarlos. With somebody else. Let's go. Okay. ok, eh, you ven y luego yo soy Jeb y luego vamos a cambiar, ¿verdad? Ok, ok. Ah, no, eh, si quiere mejor yo soy Ben porque ya hice lo de Jeb. Ok, 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 ok. okay. Jet, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hi, Ben. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work food weekday and Sunday on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour when there is too much work to do. It's extra hour is around $10. I see. Well... Sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Excellent. Okay. Now, Daniela. ¿Quién soy? Ben. Ben. Yes. And Kevin, Jeff. Uh -huh, Jeff, okay. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work for the day, I will and and you? That's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday, do you work extra hour? And how much money do they pay for each extra? Absolutely. And so mm -hmm. Eh, no sé, yeah. van los chicos y luego hacemos otro giro y yo... Sí, cabal, son dos, son dos repeticiones. Sí, sí y luego hacemos el cambio. Perfecto, Daniel. Aquí te escuchamos. Ok, lady. <risa> yo soy Ben y tú eres Jeff. Ok. Ok. A mí. Daniel. No me dijiste, mami. Agua me pediste. No, lo escuché. Hola. Daniel. No te oí. Hola, hola. Comienza. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you. Hola. Continúe. Paso. Ok. Vamos, leí otra vez, que me falló el inter. Sí. <ríe> ok. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, man. We are, are work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work at or in or more or much? Mon morning? Do they take for an eight or? 
extra hour. Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollar. Are seats where sometimes there is no much time shift. Right. Right. Absolutely. Okay. De nuevo, Julio y Brenda. Mm, perfecto, que estaba en una llamada ahí con mi madre. They, they don't pay extra hours. <laughs> No, no pay. No, I don't have pay over time over time that mm -hmm. that my shell. Shelbo. No, no me pagan horas extra, así es mi horario. Okay. Y luego. This is my schedule. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. I work extra. Ah, no, ese es el que se cambió a usted. Va. I uh -huh. speak, le voy a decir yo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely, me va a decir usted. Todo pega eso. Lo único que no pega es que le paguen no, el extra. ¿Cómo cambia la situación? <risa> Estas empresas no colaboran. No colaboran, definitivamente. ¿Usted no trabaja, Dolores? Yo trabajo en una firma de auditoría. Ah. Estamos hablando de cosas serias. ¿Ah? ¿Y qué? Estamos hablando de cosas serias. Sí, no, y nosotros igual no, aquí no pagan horas extras igual, pero muy raras veces. Work on Saturday. Uh -huh. I usually work at night, late, very late. Mm, no, hombre, que hagan fuera si tuviéramos visto. Sí, hombre. Por ejemplo, right now, I am work. Mm -hmm. um, I work and a class. Ay, mi amor. Pero bueno, oh. bueno, hicimos la conversación. Y qué Como... Asegurar el carro. Yes. Ah, es que yo no soy intermediario de seguro, soy ajustador. Es ah. el que llega cuando usted tiene un accidente. Oh, interesante, pero solo sería pero yo para no veo carros, en viviendas. Yo solo, ve, sí, yo solo veo vivienda ah. y a industria. Oh, really. Interesante. Sí, se llama Architect. Ah, interesante. Ok, Eso. Daniela, the term. <ríe> ah. creo, creo, creo que mejor sería solo sacar las preguntas de... de que si lo vamos a ajustar sería como eh, how are you doing I want to uh -huh. ask you how many days week do you work ajá uh -huh. sería lo y de ahí lo ya haciendo como que salga más es que, ajá, es que realmente es de cambiar los nombres y y las uh, respuestas uh, y las preguntas uh, no okay. tampoco <risas> sí, sí un poquito <risas> Solo son algunas cositas. Ok, sería. Daniela, how are you doing? I want to ask how you many day how week do you work? Hey Kevin. Well, I work five days a week and you. Uh, insane. I work a five day. And I don't work. Sa Saturday and really? the company. 
Uh, only, uh, only, only one. Uh, teach, teach one question. Tell me. Uh, only one. ¿Cómo puedo decir? Bueno, yo con este company trabajo de lunes a viernes. Uh -huh. Pero yo trabajo, digamos, fines de semana independiente. Freelance. Yeah, es. Uh -huh. un poquito más ser freelance. Ok, no solo diga eso. I work for my job on the weekdays or from Monday to Friday. Uh -huh. But I have my own job or I do some freelance on the weekend. Eh, repeat, eh, no, no pude escuchar bien. Sí, que puede reportar, obviamente, cuando le preguntan eh, las horas de su trabajo. Pues se dice, I work for a company from Monday to Friday or from Monday to Saturday or five days a week. And on the weekend, I am a freelance. Okay. I work all Saturday, I work six hours on Saturday, I work eight hours on Sunday, no sé, ahí depende. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. And then sería I work in Saturday, Saturday and for for your lens, yes, yes, and yes, really. On Saturday, do you work extra hour? I don't work extra hour. I, I don't. I don't. I don't work. I don't work extra hour. And you? Sí, hombre. <laughs> okay, that's right. Uh, Bien. <laughs> hey, o sea que trabaja los domingos, Julio. <laughs> ha, ha tocado, ha tocado. A veces toca cubrir proceso uh, o hacer algún proceso que alguna publicación que va para el lunes y se les antojó decírtelo el domingo y toca trabajar pero <ríe> el pago no, olvídate Hello Donores How are you doing? I want to ask you How many days do you work? Um, hi Karen Well, I work five days a week and you? That's great. I work six quick days and sometime on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hour? And how much money do they do they pay for each extra hour? No. I don't have pay over time. That's my cashier. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Ya estamos, igual ya va a terminar la hora de clase. Sí. Ya Ay, es suave. No me quedo a dormir. Ay, ay.
Hello, hello. 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 No problems? Everything okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, good. How many? ¿Qué sigue después de how many? How many days? Days. Exactly. Days, ¿es algo que se puede contar o no? Yes. Yes, you can count the days. One day, two days, three days, four days, seven days, right? How many days a week do you work? How many? Lo vamos a utilizar con countable. Yes? How many days a week? And how much? No countable. How much money? All right. So this is what we're going to practice a little bit more. This is the explanation. Yes? Yes. Lo encontraron en sus manuales? Yes. Yes. But of course. Let me check. Okay. How much or how many hours a day do you work? ¿Cuál debería ser? How much or how many? How many? How many hours? Right. Let me see. How many hours? No, wait a second. How many hours? Correct? How many hours a day do you work? Uh-huh. Eight hours? Five hours? Six hours? Eight hours. Eight hours, right? I work eight hours. Right. Excellent, Daniel. <laughs> okay. How much do they pay per hour, right? Nice. Vamos a hacer más obvio aquí el circle. Okay, porque Daniel nos puso chequecito. Bye. How many for countable nouns? Hours, days, weeks, years, etc. How much for uncountable nouns? Money, time, etc. How many days a week do you rest? How many hours a day do you work? How much money do they pay per extra hour? And how much time do we have? So that's very, very simple, right? Está fácil esto? Easy peasy? Yes. No. No. <laughs> el problema es cuando me ponga el exercise, me decía. Bye. Justamente. Okay. Read the sentences and fill in the blanks with many or much. How much? How many? Le doy dos minutos para que lo resuelvan ustedes individually y luego lo comparamos. Two minutes. Hey, Dolores, tell me. I finished. Okay, great. Todas son questions, ¿verdad? Así que todas tienen que decir how much or how many. No solamente me van a poner many or much. Tienen que agregarle how much or how many. Finish. Finish? Yes. Good. Ask me the first question. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
paper is countable. Yes. Page. Page. Pages. Uh, pages. Okay. All right. Okay. Now let's compare with our partners. Let's see what our partners have and what you have. Internet. Yo ahí lo tengo how many. En la segunda, ¿cuánto papel necesita una impresora? No, necesitas imprimir. Ah, perdón, perdón, yo me dejé. How, uh, how much paper no does a print? No, necesita una impresora. Ah, necesita ah una si impresora. es impresora. Sí, ah, sería. Es pues, how many. Oh, okay. por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, la primera es how much, how much money is in a bank. En la segunda, how many paper does a printer need? Uh -huh. Usted la tiene tercera? la factura. Ah, sí, 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 se la paso. Ay, porfa, porque no la tengo ya. Ahorita. Y la señora no la subió. Ahorita la paso. Gracias. Uh -huh. How many? Yes. Esto sería one how much. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How many? How much? Um, no, 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 how much? Much. One and two, how much? Uh, three, how many? Uh, four, how much? Uh, five and six, how many? Okay. Me too. Okay. Finish, teacher. I'm finished, teacher. Finish. Done. Complete. Yes, teacher. Complete. All right. Yes. Great. The first one. Uh, how much? How much money is in a bank? How much money? Exactly. Money. How much money is in a bank? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Number money. two. Money. You say? How much? Yes. How many? How much paper? How much. El papel realmente es algo no contable. Si se fijan, yes. 
Generalmente los no contables no tienen plurales, no tienen una S. El papel como tal no es contable. Podríamos contar las hojas de papel, pero ahí tendría que decir How many sheets of paper do you need for the printer? Or does the printer need? But how much is a quantity? It's global. Right. Good tips. Good tips. I nice. know. <laughs> Ajá. Aunque hay unos plurales irregulares que no necesariamente llevan ese, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, for example, children. Ah, the cat again. All right. Next one. How many? How many How hours? Many? Uh -huh. How many hours? How many hours? All right. How much? Uh -huh. How much? How much information? How much? All right. How many? How many days? How many days? Uh -huh. how much? And how how much? much? How much employees or how many employees? How many? How, how much? Employees? How, much? how many? How many? How many? How many. many employees does the company have? Ah. Mm -hmm. okay. How much money is it in a bank? How much paper does, ah. a, does a printer need? How many hours a day does he work? How much information is on the internet? How many days a week do you rest? How many employees does your company have? So, ¿Cuántos empleados tiene su empresa? Si los puede contar. De hecho, somos okay. un number. <laughs> We are a number at the companies, right? Okay, clear. All clear. Questions? No questions? No? No. No questions. Perfect. All right. One second. Veamos, estamos listos para el examen, entonces. <laughs> Are we ready for the exam? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> ¿Cómo les ha ido la platform? Ya todos terminaron, casi, almost. No I'm yet. finished. I'm finished. All work for uh, for unit homework. one. Yes. All tasks, all the activities, all the homework for unit one. That's great. Yeah, very good. Ok, ahorita les mando un exercise surprise. My God. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Surprise, surprise. Ahí está, la imagen. Daniel y Julio. ¿Sí? ¿Qué tal, Karen? Ah, muy bien, queriendo descansar. Bien, bien, gracias a Dios. Ya cambiando lentes porque no miraba. <risa> ¿Verdad? Ah, solo para lectura. Los videojuegos ah. me dañaron la vista. Sí, pues es necesario. Sí. Muy bien. Veamos. Okay. Oh, Ahí está el ejercicio. Sí. Excelente. How much? How much? Uh, Is how, how many? many? How, how many? many? La primera. Oh. La dos es star es how many no how much how much, how much. How la dos es how much incontable las estrellas en el cielo 
Gracias. Yo como aquí son unas cinco veo las cuentas. Vaya, el tiempo, no recuerdo si era how, no, el tiempo es how many or how, how much. Eh, eh. ¿Qué se puede? Sí se no. puede. ¿Perdón? Bueno, yo creo que sí se puede. Hace un momento, sí. en el cuadro, no sé si nos compartió el cuadro. Ah, no, yo tengo ya la guía. Hablaba de esto. How many? How many for contable nouns? Hours, days, weeks, years. Uh, no. Es how much. Es how much. Es tiempo. Much. How much es para tiempo, dinero. Y todo okay. lo incontable. Sería how much. How much. Ok. Uh -huh. La cuatro eh. es. El agua es incontable. No, no, no. Es más. Uh -huh. Es más. Much. How much? Because are are countable nouns, no or no incountable. Because well, how, how much people important mm -hmm. speech Chinese? How much then? How much or how many snow is there in the mountain? How, many? how much? Is incountable the is incontable is no no mm -hmm. incontable is how much mm -hmm. number seven how much number seven number seven how much number seven how much number nine Number eight. Eight. How, how, much? Much? how much? Number nine. How, how many? many? How many? How many students are there in your class? I mean. How Number much? Eight. Number ten. How much or how many meal do you want? How many? Pero es igual un líquido. Pero no se puede. How much? Entonces. How much? La leche, la leche no es algo que. Es how much, porque usted puede decir si quiere un vaso, pero la leche en sí es incontable. Okay. Snow is there. No, no, no. How much? Ve, porque es. ¿Cuál es la que sigue? La ocho la es. Ocho. How, how much? How much now? Snow. Sabemos. ¿Cuánto sabemos es how much? How much? How much? ¿Cuánto sabemos? ¿Cuánto o sea, sabemos? ¿qué es la, ¿Cómo dice la oración? Es que no Snow me... is there in the mountains. Snow is nieve. The... Snow is nieve. Ajá, ¿cuánta, nieve? ¿Cuánta nieve hay en la montaña? Entonces es uh -huh. mucho. Ajá, es how much. Ajá. Ya terminamos entonces. Ok. Pero ahorita que está la ticha podemos preguntarle de la número 3. Ajá. Tell me. Yes. No What happened with the number 3? <laughs> eh, how much, how teacher? many? Eh, hemos nosotros seleccionamos how much uh -huh. o sea, do, do you need uh -huh. eh, podemos decir que poco mucho pero uh -huh. también no sé si se puede responder con eh, I need to hour ahí uh, no importa realmente con la respuesta no importa lo, lo que importa es la pregunta aquí o sea, la pregunta sí ahí lo que tiene que tomar en cuenta es 
si la pregunta, el, el, el sujeto de la pregunta, por decir así, que este caso es tiempo, es contable o no contable. Y ahí como responde es independiente. How much time do you need for, for this activity, for example? You say, oh, I need two hours. Está completamente válido. La respuesta uh -huh. es como un poco independiente de la, de la pregunta. Uh -huh. Aunque, okay. sí, uh -huh. aunque uh, también existe times en plural. Ese sería otro caso. Por ejemplo, si usted le dice, ¿y cuántas veces has ido a los Estados Unidos? Entonces, en ese caso, times estaría pluralizado. Entonces, ahí sí sería, how many times have you gone to the United States? Pero no es el caso, ajá, pero por eso les decía, pensé que por ahí era como la, la duda. Porque sí Igual, existe esa posibilidad. Que la, la pregunta es, ¿cuánto tiempo necesitamos? Ajá, es en general. Entonces, podríamos responder como, mucho sería how much, y digamos, ¿Tú dos horas sería hot ah, es como más específico? No, ahí no, la, la, la respuesta es independiente. Usted dice, I need a lot of time, I need much time, or I need a little short time, or I need two hours. La, la, la respuesta puede ser ya específica y no necesariamente tiene que afectar a la pregunta. Okay. Pero, pero por, por ejemplo... Sí, 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 lo estamos diciendo el tiempo, pero lo estamos diciendo en horas, minutos o segundos, ahí sí decimos how many, ¿verdad? Pero ya tendría que decir how many hours. Exacto. Mm, how ajá. many weeks, how many Exacto. days. Exacto. Uh -huh. Ajá, eso, eso es como, ajá, eso era también lo que queríamos aclarar, muchas gracias. Por pero, todo. ajá, al estructurar la pregunta, pero si está diciendo tiempo en general, ahí es how much. Exacto. Okay. How much time Gracias. do you study English? Oh, I study English one hour every day. Or uh -huh. I study two hours every day. Pero eso ya es la respuesta. All right. Uh -huh. Finish, okay. right? Yes, finish. I finish. Okay, cool. Ajá, ¿qué tal el surprise exercise? <laughs> How was it? Um, I have a eight. <laughs> I have a ten. <laughs> okay. No, eight. Eight. Why? <laughs> I make mistake and the number eight and, and number ten. Really? Yeah. How much apples? How many apples? How many? Many. How many? Okay. How much or how many stars? Much. How much? How much? much. How much? Y stars, lo ven en singular o en plural? En plural. En que no las podamos contar, tendría que ser how many. Gramaticalmente hablando, usted dice, no, porque son incontables, pero las puedo contar uh -huh. una por una, aunque no las logre contar todas. Uh -huh. Y es posible contarlas. Aquí entra el dilema del inglés y el español. ¿Por qué? <ríe> Como los, el pollo, el pollo sí lo puedo contar, puedo contar los pollitos de tres o cuatro pollitos. En inglés no se puede. How much chicken? Porque es como el. La carne de pollo, por decir algo. Pero aquí se sería, how many stars are there in the sky? Impossible to know. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Okay, how much time do we need? How many time do we need? Much. How much? How, how much, much time do we need? How much water? How many water? Much. How much? How much water? How much or how many books? How many? How, how many? Many, how many? Yes. How much money? How many money? How much? How much? How much? Ya, eh, lo del money ya no quedó claro, lo del time ya no quedó claro. <laughs> okay. How much people? How many people? How much? How much? How much? How, how many? many? 
How oh, many people speak? Why, teacher? Porque las personas sí se pueden decir una, dos, tres, cuatro personas, un millón de personas. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Somos individuos, <laughs> like individuals. Ah, uh, you can count them individually. Of one person okay. and two people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. One person singular, two people, three two people, people, plural. Mm -hmm. How much or how many snow? How much? How much? Definitivamente, ¿verdad? How much or how many students? How many? How many? How many? Este será un regalo. <laughs> this was a bonus. And how much or how many milk? How much? How much? How much, how much milk? Do you want? Yes, correct. I think. Now done. Fire base. Clear. Clear as the water. Or clear as orchata. Uh huh. Tell me. Entonces, la, la expresión contable es literal, porque ah, la parte con, la, con los compañeros de grupo, lo, yo les comentaba, yo cometí uh -huh. el error y les digo, estrella en el cielo incontable, por sentido común. Ajá. Ajá, pero lo que usted dice, o sea, sí se pueden contar. Un el hecho que se pueda ir, contar, ajá, individualmente. Ajá, Exacto. Es distinto con el agua, de que usted no puede agarrar una gota o agarrar esto. Es, uh -huh. es una molécula de agua. Ajá, correcto. Uh -huh. Sí, okay. es literal. Uh -huh. Lo que pasa es que tiende a confundirnos porque a veces nosotros en español pensamos que sí se puede, pero no necesariamente. All right. Bueno, moviéndonos un poquito a la plataforma, si yo sé que algunos ya lograron llegar a esta parte which is great. Acá en esta parte, la lección, honestamente, en el manual, es, hemos estado practicando lo de how much and how many. Pero la tarea, les recuerdo, les refuerza el uso de negative Exacto. sentences, ¿verdad? Entonces, recordar que el auxiliary para negativo es don or doesn't. Obviamente, para I, you, we, they, va a ser don't. Y para he, she, it, va a ser doesn't, ¿ok? Mario, obviamente, si lo, lo, lo pongo en pronouns o lo cambio a pronouns, sería he. Por lo tanto, digo doesn't, ¿ok? Doesn't. My friends, si lo pongo en pronouns, sería they. Entonces, sería don't. Y así, ¿verdad? Solo para hacer un refresh. Y luego, en la tarea 5, también es recordar la forma afirmativa, el verbo para tercera persona lleva es o es. Obviamente va a llevar es la gran mayoría de veces y es solo cuando termine el ch, sh, x. Yes, like watch, watches, wash, watch, fix, fixes, right? My friend Irene también, en mi tercera persona. Y acá hay un poquito de práctica de how much. Ok. Y eso sería lo de la exercise 5. Espero que lo hayan podido trabajar. Quiero ver tomorrow is Tuesday. Ya para mañana quizás ya vamos a poder pasar notas. Así que espero que lo hayan podido hacer. Ok. Bueno, pasamos a la última tendencia para que se vayan a descansar. Go to rest. Veamos. Please. Yes. <ríe> Ana Ruth. Brenda. Here I am. Ok. Claudia. Daniel. Adonai. Daniel Alejandro. Daniel Alicet. Present. Daisy, Tatiana, Dolores, present, Juliana no puedo estar, Aileen tampoco, Jonas no, Jorge, Antonio, no sí, 
Jorge. No, no se conectó Jorge, right? No, no, no. Vale. Ok, José. No. Julius. Yes. Karen. Yes. Karen. Yes. No. Kevin. Yes. Yes. Lady. And Ruth. Present. Yes, good evening. Ok. Bueno, debido a que las personas que les correspondía no están, que les... bueno, sería. ¿Quiénes han participado? Ana Ruth, Brenda, Daniel Agoná y participó la vez anterior. Esta vez sería Daniel Alejandro. Yes. Are you ready, Daniel? <laughs> of course. I'm ready. <laughs> of course, I'm ready. Dice <laughs> Maya. Okay. Good night for the others, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good, Good night, teacher. Take care. Blessings. See you tomorrow, everybody. Good night, teacher. Hey, Daniel. Hi. Tell me, <laughs> did you complete the platform? Uh, de la semana pasada, sí. Okay, so unit one is complete. Sí. Nice, great, good job. So how do you feel in the English class? Uh, I feel good. Uh, I feel more, good. Feel good. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't feel the time. Thank so, God. Siento rápido que pasa el tiempo. <laughs> thank yeah. God, thank God, nice. Okay, do you practice every day? Do you practice? No. <laughs> Not practice every day. Hola. The connection is failing, I think. Hello. Hi. Better now? Hi. Hi. Yes. Yes. Me escucha, me escucha. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. Much better. Eh, now. Sí, le escucho. Okay. Sí, le escucho. Great. Okay, so tell me, when do you practice? Uh, uh, so. Little. A little. I, I try to practice a little. A little. Uh, when? I, in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, on the in computer. The morning. In the morning. What do you prefer uh, to practice? Vocabulary, reading, sentences, songs. Uh, fíjese que ocupo Duolingo. Vocabulary. Sí, vocabulario. Okay, sí. I practice vocabulary. And, and do you like it? Yes. It's very entertaining. <laughs> True. Okay, nice. Congratulations. Do you have questions? Uh, 
Hello. Hi. I don't have Hola. questions. Hola. Hola. Hello. Hello. <laughs> no. No. No questions. Hola. Hi. No. <laughs> No. Sí me escucha, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok. She's Hola. your daughter. Yes. How old is she? And she yes. She's eight years old. She goes to school? Uh, 6th febrero. <laughs> February 6th. Yes, she's February, going to school on February 6th. Okay. Hola. And now she's yes. on vacation. Hola. Uh -huh. No. Mientras tanto, solo pasan molestando. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to study English. <laughs> no. La más pequeña, sí, tengo otra doble de Really? Yeah. Ella sí se. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ella me dice, how do you say? Y me dice una cosa y yo trato de... de, de... Nice. That's good practice. Igual los, colo yeah, igual los colores los colores y los, y los números. Hasta nice. Ahí. Hasta She el likes 10. English. Yes. Sí. That's great. So you only have two daughters. Okay, yes. no, no boys. No. <laughs> Adoptado, sí. Adopted. <laughs> yes, no, okay. Okay. Uh, Adopted. Friends. Or ah, nephews. Mm, Ajá. Nice. Los el, tiene un primito que a veces solo con ellos pasa. Okay, it's so adopted boy, adopted son. <laughs> es que no tuvimos el, el niño ahí. That's nice, but she's cute. She has beautiful hair. Sí, sí. Hello. Hello. She's cute. Hello. Bye. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm six. Oh, wow. She's uh -huh. good. They yeah. like to study too. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. That's yeah. beautiful. Well, if you're if you don't have questions, be careful. Relax. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, thank Get you. Get better, okay? Gracias. All right. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Mm -hmm.